this year's auto fulfillment tutorial hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to talk about the this year's auto fulfillment so it is very easy and very simple so you need to understand here what i am going to say in this video and how we can set things up in between the this year's the aliexpress and also our shop plus store or our uh, sales channel you hear the t sales channel of today uh, tutorial is going to be here shopify so obviously on these years you need a sales channel to uh, uh, here successfully drop ship or start your drop shipping journey which is going to be here wix or shopify uh, squarespace or whatever platform that you're going to use and you see it fit with uh, connecting it with these years but the most simplest one to connect is shopify now after we have connected our uh, DCRS account to our Shopify store, we're going to get here, as you can see, the platform. So we are going to head over, find products. From here, you are going to see the platform that you're going to get the shopping for or the marketplace from is here, AliExpress. So you are going to get here most of our products or all the products from AliExpress and also Timu. So you can see here that we have Timu and AliExpress. So how we can add a product and set it. So simple, go ahead right there to the find products, select one of the products, or you can go ahead and enter a keyword to search it or get a attachment like a photo and get some similar products like it. So we are going to get this one. For example, I like this one. So I'm going to import or add this product to the imported list. I'm going to check it. So we are going to click on check. We are going to head over the import list. I'm going to select the product since the two others are pushed to the store. I'm going to select it and click on push to store. So you can go ahead and select one of the or all of the preferences right there, but I'm going to click on it. Here for the price description also, uh, everything is going to be here modifiable or editable into the shop by store powers. We're going to wait for the progress bar to finish right there and here we have it now we are going simply to head over the product and we are going to search for it here we have our product now as you can see we have set up everything the images are here the tags i'm going simply to modify for example all the variants like there and so we are going to put it at 16.99 I'm going to click on bulk edit, save here. Maybe we can go ahead and click on bulk edit on everything. So it would uh, change the price unit for each one of them. Now, the most important part right there is to view the product. I am going to set up here the uh, card of mine to buy a product from here. So obviously I'm going to click on add to cart. We are going to visit the checkout. I'm going to uh here delete all the unnecessary products so i think that we have here the card i'm going to delete the unnecessary ones so this that 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 i'm going to continuously uh here uh delete the products so we have this i'm going to click on checkout so we can go ahead and set up the uh, country region, for example, right there, it is set to this one. So we can go ahead and get our email address, the city, for example, like that, or whatever you want. These are optional. So for example, uh, here, uh, I'm going to type in here, any city. You can go ahead and set up the address also, like that. I'm going to continue to the shipping. Here we are going to use the free shipping continue right there uh i'm not going to put a tip so it is my own right there uh here command or my own order so for the payment and here i have a credit card which is bogus and this is set for uh any of the uh, purpose of testing and etc so we are going to head and put a date that is going to be uh, right there uh, uh, random so i'm going to put here a random security number i'm going to click on pay now and normally it will register so we are going to type in that 
and it will register so we are going to receive here a processed order it is going to here get us the order so we are going to see that we have an order and as you can see it is unfulfilled so we are going to request the fulfillment and here we're going to click on it so we are going to set up the fulfillment from D series fulfillment service we are going to click on send fulfillment request and it is going to be right here so normally in few seconds or in few minutes you're going to see here the open orders and the fulfillment will be automatic from D series so as you can see we have here the aliexpress product fulfillment demanded so this is the product now all you need to do is to click on this specific uh, right there uh, order you're going to set it up either you are going to click on order or place order to aliexpress and here as you can see mark selected orders as fulfilled so you are more going to mark it as fulfilled uh, by clicking on this one you're going simply right there to set up the orders automatically so obviously you are going to click on this and you're going to get the product fulfilled manually or you can go ahead and place an order into the uh, as you can see the aliexpress here we have the order via api or the order via the chrome extension so here we have the account which is going to be here a d-series account so you are going to confirm the order you need to set up here the payment method of yours after that after setting the payment it will be here uh, going to the awaiting for the payment after the confirmation of the payment they or, or the product going to be here awaiting for the shipment and also the fulfillment automatically here you are going to get the automatic fulfillment option because you are going only to uh, write their order or place the order to Aliexpress and the platform will wait for the payment. The shipment is going to be here also from the payment. So you are the, uh, as you can see here, the addresses and also the, uh, let's say here, everything is going to be here right there. So uh, basically, D series is going to have everything about that customers. As you can see here, we have the country, the addresses, the zip code, the city, and etc. The name also of the customer. It will pop here and also make an order with the name of the customer. So you are going simply right there to see from the control center right there, which is the control also or the uh, vision uh, center that you are going to see all of the um, right there orders set up so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one